Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the details and supplements that I've added in for our Travel the States curriculum by Jessica over at the Waldock Way. I decided to go ahead and grab this curriculum for our girls since we are doing US history this year. We're going to be doing US geography to go along with it. It just pairs well with it. So I wanted to share with you all of the details of what we are going to be using and things that I've added in to make it a little bit more challenging for my older daughters. The first thing about this curriculum is that it comes in a PDF form you will print everything off that you need in the order that you need it in very easy and you can print off multiple copies if you're using it for multiple children here is the teacher's manual as you can see I printed this off myself I took this front cover here and laminated it and then I did the spiral bounding for it within your teacher's manual you are going to find the states and alphabetical order you will also find them in order of statehood along with that you're going to have a list of required resources and suggested resources it comes with books, games, hands-on activities as well. You will also get a traveling the states checklist along with a lesson plan checklist. Within this lesson plan, you can either do this two days a week, three or four days a week if you choose to is how it's set out. For us, we're actually going to be doing it five days a week, which is great because it'll just stretch out for us. We will do one state per week. You have the lesson plan for each of the states and they are in alphabetical order, but you don't have to go in that specific order. You can choose whichever states you want. For me, I am going to choose the state that we're currently learning about in our US history. So any states that come up that we're talking about, we will hit on those first, and then we'll move on from there. As you go through, there are also QR codes for you to scan, and you will get a playlist over to YouTube where there are videos and documentaries, games, all of those things that you can add into this curriculum. I've checked it out, and I really think it's going to be a gentle yet informative interview introduction into US geography. We did a little bit last year for My Father's World for US geography, but not as in-depth as I would have liked to have gone. So this curriculum is really going to help us do that. Once you get through your lesson plans for each state, you're going to have the appendix. And what that gives you is postcards, snapshots, landmark cards, brochures, biographies, and review pages. It's basically telling you what is here and available within the teacher's manual. You will have your greeting cards for your postcards here. The next thing on the list is going to be your snapshots shots and this is if you go any places or you draw anything or you find pictures online then you will also have the landmark monuments for each of the specific states which well, actually is really cool because a lot of times outside of your home state you may not know what historic landmarks are there you have to do a little bit more research so this was awesome that Jessica provided that within this curriculum the next thing in there is going to be your brochures and your child will make up that brochure according to the state some of the other parts of the brochure are famous people that you will see you will also see places to see and fun facts about that specific state. Within the teacher's manual, there is also an opportunity for your child to dive into name a famous person which related to that state. This will come in handy for my older girls. My kindergartner will not be able to do this, but this is a really great research piece for the girls. And we will just extend this over the week of that. We may not do every single detailed part within that charting, but they will get a good idea of a person specific to that state, why they're famous, who they are, and all of the details that we can come up with within our time frame. The last couple of pages that you will find in here are basically a test and your child will write the capital of each state, the name of each state. And that is it for the teacher's manual. Those pages that are within the teacher's manual, you can make additional copies for however many children you have. That's the great part about having a PDF. The next thing that you will get that's included in the PDF is also the travel the state's nature profiles. Within this, you will have a nature profile for each one of the states and that nature profile is one to two pages and it gives you details like the state bird the state flower the state tree all of the details that you need for each state and it is also in alphabetical order this gives your child to really dive into some specific things in nature for the states that they will be seeing knowing what the birds are now we have studied our state here so the girls do have a really good idea of those specific uh, nature profiles but to learn other states is really helpful because ooh, we don't dive into that <laughs> And so I'm excited about being able to do that and just kind of show them. So I did go ahead and just like I did the other one, I laminated the front cover and back cover and I did the spiral bounding and it's ready to go. The great thing about the nature profiles is that you only need one copy because your children can all use the same copy as if it were a book. Another thing that you will get with the PDF is the student notebook. Within this student notebook, it has everything that your child will need to do all of the activities listed within the parent notebook. What I did for my older girls was I just went ahead and printed off everything that was in the student notebook for each state.
beginning. In the beginning, they will have this Maps You Travel and what they do with the Maps You Travel is simply go here and they will, as you travel to the different states, you'll color them on the map below. The next thing for each one of the states, they have a state picture that they can color. They have a flag profile for that state then they also have a state profile where they can fill in things like the capital city, the largest city, it's named for statehood order, interest fa interesting facts, and moments to remember. After that, they will have a nature profile for that specific state where they can illustrate the state bird, the state flower, and the state tree, and they can write a little bit of information about those specific nature items. That is the format for each one of the states within here. They get a chance to look at the flag and learn more, and it just really helps to reinforce what they're learning about those specific states. Each one of my daughters has a binder like this, my oldest daughters. Now what I did for my kindergartner, because there are a lot of things within there that she will not be able to do. So for her student notebook, I simply printed off the front maps you travel coloring page. And then after that, I also printed off the coloring page that comes with each state and the flag page that comes with each state. Those will be the only things that she will do for each of the states. And that gives her an opportunity to color while my older daughters are reading and maybe working on their nature profiles. She'll get to do the coloring that she likes to do and create that flag all on her own she can follow the picture it'll be really fun for her to do that so that is all that is in her student notebook outside of that for an additional PDF you will have one that covers games these are all the games that Jessica has included within the curriculum this is not a suggested game list there are additional games that are suggested for this curriculum that you can purchase if you would like to, but what comes with the curriculum, you will get, uh, this is not a game, but you will get the passport information. So you cut out, print this off, and you cut it out according to the instructions. It was very easy to do, and then you simply put together a passport for each one of your children. With that, they will also get the passport flags, and these will need to be cut out, and for each one of them, they will just glue this passport flag as they go to each state. This is very similar to what we did last year with My Father's World, Exploring Countries and Cultures. I really enjoy having these. Now, I will say, I do wish that I had a sticker book for this to make it a lot easier where I wouldn't have to cut it out, and I may do some research and find one of those, but we really enjoy taking the country flags and putting them in our passport book as we traveled around for my father's world now on to the actual game pack this is what the front cover of the game pack looks like there are instructions in here for every single game one of the first games that you will get is the memory game now within the memory game you simply have cards that you will cut up you will flip those cards over and you play memory with the specific states this is perfect for my kindergartner as memory is a great thing for her to do anyway it will help her to learn the state it's a little young for my oldest daughters but they will enjoy playing it with her which is a win for me the next game that comes in with it is a bingo within the bingo game there are all of the instructions included and you will get a calling mat this is for the person who will be leading the bingo game which will be yours truly <laughs> But also they each have a bingo card and what they are doing is trying to get bingo with the specific state. And once they get bingo, they yell it out, bingo. And that's how the game will go, of course. They are ready to play this game. Another game that comes in the game pack is Top Trumps. And what you will do is you have all of these different cards here, one for each state. All of the players who are participating will pick up a card and the person who is going first will read off which card number is the highest. So they'll basically read, maybe they do population size. And when they call out the population size, the other player who pulled their card, whichever one has the highest number, they get to take all of the cards from everyone. And at the end of the game, the person who wins is the one who collects all of the cards. Very fun game. This really helps to kind of commit numbers and help them put those numbers in order as well. So you're not just learning about specific facts for that specific state, you're also working on math, which I love. It's a two for one. Jessica also mentions different suggested books. One of the suggested books is the 50 States book. We already had this book. I actually bought it last year and we used it for the Exploring Countries and Cultures when we started, but it is an amazing, amazing book. I see why she suggested it. We absolutely love this book. And so this will go along with it. This will give my girls an opportunity to read more in depth about the States. So they also have video, then they have this book, this very multi-sensory curriculum that is going on here. And we really love that because it doesn't give us an opportunity to get bored at all. This was not suggested as a part of the curriculum, but it does go along with the book. And this is the 50 States Activity 
activity book. There are stickers in here. There's an opportunity to just fill out additional information. I'm hoping that this will be good to help with my baby girl. She can sit down with her sisters and they can just kind of go through and fill out some of the information within these books. Fun, there's crossword puzzle puzzles and word searches and all the way at the back, you get tons and tons of stickers for you to do, which she loves stickers. So I have added this into the curriculum. As I said before, it was not a suggested resource by Jessica, but I thought it would be perfect for us. Some additional things that I decided to add in, which are games. One of the games I decided to add on, which was not suggested by Jessica, was something that we already had. And this is called State the Picture. The purpose of this game is to be the first one to get from start to finish, and you're doing it via Pictionary. So you have to draw the shape of the state by memory and the person who guesses it, they get to move along. And the first person to the end is the one who wins. Great at committing the states to memory. It's a fun game and it will help them to really be able to visualize what the United States looks like, what each state looks like, so that anytime they look at a map, there's no question about it. I'm excited to play this game and we've actually had this game for like four years and have literally never taken it out of the plastic. We've not taken the cards out of the plastic. I'm excited to hop into this game, but that was one of the games that I added on. Another game that I thought would add on to this, and I can't remember if it's on Jessica's list, but I decided to grab it. It is Guess in 10 States. What a way to just commit more to memory. So in this Guess in 10 game, you will be the first person to guess which state this is by looking at the clue cards. It is an awesome game that we're gonna have a really great time doing. So what you will do is call off what's on the clue. So I am one of the newest states of America. I am composed entirely of islands. Honolulu is the state's capital. What state is it? Hawaii. The first person to be able to guess it is the one who will get this card. The person with the most cards at the end is the one who wins the game. The next game that was suggested by Jessica is the Scramble the States of America game. Basically, the purpose of the game is to be able to match the scrambled states with the correct state so that you can send the state home. So on the scramble cards, you will have to match them. And the first person to do that will be the one to collect those cards. The first person to collect all the cards and send the most states home is the one who wins the game. We have not played the game yet, but I'm definitely excited to hop into it. It will be something that the girls will enjoy because we are super competitive in our home. A few additional resources that I decided to add in is we had these state cards here. They're actually country and state, but we are going to be going through the different states here on these cards. It's just an added reinforcement, maybe a little bit different information. The girls can compare some of the other resources that we have and read through these cards. One can be going through these cards and the other person can be looking in the book. They can compare the information. It's just an added dimension for my older girls to really give them an idea of what each state has to offer and specific facts about those states. Another thing that we have that Mallory will be using is this US talking puzzle. It doesn't talk anymore. It was given to us as a gift. However, she still loves to go in here and put the states in. We do have some that are missing, but this will be a great way to reinforce where those specific states go. Good job, Mallory. You're doing awesome. She loves to play with this game. We've had it for a really long time. I do wish that it did talk, but it still is a really great thing to add into our Traveling the States curriculum. Another thing that we love is this huge United States floor puzzle by Melissa and Doug. The girls really have a good time putting it together. It has all of the different states here, and it's something that is perfect for Mallory. How do you like it, sister? It's so much fun. It's so much fun. So this has been something we've had for years now. Maggie started out putting it together. Now she's passed it along to Mallory. And it's just a really fun way to reinforce where the states go. Another thing that I actually found at the Dollar Tree is this state map and it says my colorful map of all 50 states. They have an option to color this. There is an option to color the map that's in the front of the curriculum for the student packets, but I thought these are a little bit bigger. They can color on here. And then a bonus is on the back of it. It also has this land is my land where it has different symbols, landforms, um, the colors that they can color it and they could create their own physical map of the United States. These came in a pack of six. I accidentally bought three packs, so that gives me 18. So we'll have plenty of maps to color. Some additional books that I'm throwing in. This will be appealing for my youngest daughter. This is America's 50 States here. It's a really quick book with a few facts about each of the states. This will work for Mallory. It will keep her occupied while she is looking through things. She and I can read this together. My older girls can be working on something else. She really loves flipping through these types of books. We have a lot of different like geography books on the shelf and she 
goes to them often, which is great because I think that she's going to be really interested in this. She loves coming over here to the map and looking on the wall and finding all the different places. Plus we will follow along to where my husband travels since he does travel for work. And we'll make that a point to do that every single week to find where he will be and maybe study some information about that state as well. Another book that I decided to pick up was the 50 states, 5,000 ideas. This is different things to do in each of the states. Now we love to travel and I thought this would be perfect for when we decide to go travel, we can make sure that we have this book with us and find different landmarks. If we're planning a vacation, we can say we're going to go to this place and make sure that we hit up some of the awesome landmarks in all of the states. Another book that I actually got from Half Price Books for nothing, and I didn't even think about it at the time. I just thought it's a great book, so I'm going to grab it. This is A Young People's Atlas of the United States. It has lots of great information in here about the United States specific historical figures as well, which goes along with our history curriculum since we are studying the United States this year for history. Lots of different agricultural information. I'm excited to really dive into this book as well. I'm probably going to have the girls do some form of a small report outside of what's requested within the student packets, but it will be something small where they can just expand their knowledge and I make sure that they are actually learning what we are talking about every day. If you're interested in seeing more about what we're gonna be doing for the school year, make sure that you check out these two videos.